hey guys hope you are doing good today let us discuss scripting part okay whole concept of scripting is nothing but a group of ranks commands kept inside a file and it will be executed one by one process the main thing in scripting is shebang first of all we have to get the location of the interpreter which bash my interpreter location is bin bash okay let me create a short script to create a script we have to first create a file vi file one i for insertion the important part in the scripting is the first line should be Ash exclamation followed by bin bash. It is your interpreter path. It has to be the first, it has to be in first line. If else it is in the second line, then it will be treated as a comment. Okay. Mm, let us make a directory from here mkdir directory one. I'll also create directory two, and I will list the directories. Okay, it is a short script. Escape shift colon wq. Now let us grant permission to that file. chmod triple seven means read, write, and execute for file one. Okay, permission granted for execution of script dot. slash file one dot sh it should be the syntax see directory one directory two directory there is also a file yeah. directory one directory two is created from the script and it is also listed the directories and files in the current folder root folder okay this is the whole concept behind the scripting next we go for echo echo whatever we give in the echo it will be displayed as an output for example echo hi how are you it will display as it is as mentioned inside the double quotes suppose if you want to print hundreds of lines then one thing is we go for echo hi how are you next echo one line echo two line echo three line like that you are continuously keeping your system cpu busy which is not recommended for that we can simply go by enabling the escape sequences echo iphone e hi slash n Yeah, this is the slash this is forward slash sorry hi how slash n how are how are you see hi how are you like this we can print n number of lines at one go this is the advantage of scripting okay we can automate anything which is of repeated repeated one next of all next let, let us discuss about redirectors there will be two types of redirectors standard input redirectory right, redirectors and standard output redirectors and it will be classified into two types input we can take from the keyboard and input we can take from a file next output we can give to your terminal output we can give to your file suppose let me take an example suppose if i want to display cat etc password these are all the users present in my machine I want this output to be 
redirect it to a separate file as of now there are directory 1 directory 2 and file 1 there is no another file let me redirect redirect this output a file cat etc password redirected to file 3 there is no file 3 now it will create a separate file control l for clear now let us list see there is a separate file file 3 you can see the content in the file 3 yeah this is the content we have redirected now i want to list root with the standard input okay for that i will grow i will go with grep root i will take input from the file it is standard input file 3 yeah root is listed like this standard input and standard output works we can take input from the file we can take input from the keyboard we can display output to a file we can display output directly to terminal okay next next we'll see how to send mail to user who is in the current server suppose let me create a user user add j let me assign password to him password j let me give password control l okay i am currently logged in as root user now there are there is one user j in my same system let me see how, how many users are there cat etc password okay there is j there is default easy to user and these are the system users now let me send a mail to j for that mail icon is subject let me name it as mail1 and to j at the rate mm, it's an IP address since we want to send mail to the same person on the same system I mean person on the same system we can go for localhost localhost sorry I have given mail mail is not found okay yum install mail star yes okay mail iPhone S mail one J at the rate local host okay now type your message hi jay what's up buddy okay dot enter your mail has been sent now let us log into j and check our mail is there or not switch to j so the iphone sudo su iphone j okay we have entered as j now to check mail we have to type mail 
okay we have one mail one new message mail you have to type one to see that mail enter one and we can say we can see here hi j what's up buddy and to know what are the list of options we can go with and question mark now we can reply we can quit we can do copy save let me reply reply what you want to reply hi root nothing much dot enter and quit okay control l let me go to switch to root user and check whether my reply has been sent or not so do i find i let me exit okay now i am on root user mail yeah i have one re reply mail press one yeah i got reply hi root nothing much and q4 enter i hope you like this video guys and i will keep on posting about scripting related videos thank you so much bye bye